Hello YouTube, welcome back to this playthrough of Kirby's Adventure. And we're about to take on the final boss, King DDD. So let's do it. I'm electing to go in there without any uh, weapons. And just use the things that King DDD throws at me as, as my uh, weapon. You could go into this fight with like high jump or something. Or hammer or anything, but I don't really feel like it. As you can see, you can get stars from him when he jumps and when he uses his hammer against you. So sometimes I try to get both stars in one shot. Game's over, right? We're done. DDD has been defeated. Oh, there's a level eight. Interesting. So what's this? King DDD is preventing Kirby from putting the star rod back in the Founded Dreams. This is weird. Kirby's getting visibly mad too. Looks like Kirby had a good reason to, uh... I mean, King Diddy had a good reason to make him not do it. Oh, King Diddy is helping Kirby. What's going on? What is going on? Okay, looks like we're gonna have to fight this thing, whatever it is. Okay, use the Star Rod. Now, an interesting thing about this boss battle... You only have a certain amount of time to complete it. If you don't beat this guy quickly enough, you die. Isn't that nice? Pedal to the metal, man. And as you guys can tell, I'm not really paying attention that much to my health. I'm just trying to nail this guy as much as I can, because I really don't want to die. I'd rather take a few hits from him than I have to repeat the fight. Okay. And interestingly enough, if you wait to take that star, you you will die from the time running out. So, after you kill, be sure to get that star. Okay, looks like they escaped to the moon or something. And that weird globe turns into something that looks like some sort of witch or warlock. It's a fight in the nightmare. So the only time you get damage to him is when he opens up his cloak. Oh, dang it. Oh, okay, looks like I'm gonna be dying soon, so... Oh, let's see if I can get him anyway. Probably won't be able to, but... Oh, it's worth a shot. his little stars as long as you hit them with your own stars oh there I go let's try that again shall we You 
can also hurt him by not actually shooting the, uh, the stars as long as you touch him with the star rod. I guess this is the end of the game now. Let's take a look at what happens. Oh boy. That can't be good. I'm a little concerned if my moon just shattered into a crescent moon all of a sudden. So Kirby fought to find the star rod, but King Diddy did not mean any harm. So it looks like King Diddy was trying to prevent Kirby from getting the Star Rod, not because he wanted to keep the power for himself, but because the Star Rod was corrupted. The Fountain of Dreams was corrupted by the Nightmare. So King Dedede was trying to help out Dreamland the entire time. And so it, it's really funny when you think about like why King Dedede gets this bad rap as like the ultimate, as like the evil against Kirby. They seem to be like frenemies in like the new canon new games, but, I don't know, in the old game, uh, you know, the, the first one, that, I think this was the first one that had King Dedede in it, I might be wrong, Kirby's uh, Dreamland might have had King Dedede, but I, don't, I didn't play it, so I wouldn't know, but, um, yeah, I mean, King Dedede was the good guy the whole time, but now, the Star Rod has been, whoa, I don't care about this. Star Rod has been uh, restored, Fountain of Dreams is pure again, and everyone can go on dreaming. We're good to go. Oh, Kirby's waving by. And we get the credits. interesting the way Kirby beats some of these bosses in the credits. See here, he's, he's using throw ability here to throw those tomatoes at Wispy Woods. He's using the stone ability on, on the painter guy. That's interesting. I find that to be fascinating. He's using fireball on this one. That one seems pretty reasonable. I've used fireball to beat these two before. I think. Did I? Yeah. See, normally you don't get the fireball ability to beat them in the boss rush mode. But if you're able to get two of the stars that they shoot at you and you get to do the mix, I got fireball on it once and I was able to beat them with the fireball, which was pretty cool. So he's using the umbrella for this guy, which is interesting. Doing pretty good. Of course, you have to use the sword in this one. But, I don't remember if it's this game or Kirby's Superstar that if you wait long enough, you don't have to pick the sword up. You can use whatever you have on hand. But if you don't have an ability, it doesn't let you do that because you, you'd have nothing to beat Net Meta Knight with. Because Meta Knight doesn't give out stars for you to swallow and spit back at him. The end. Oh, looks like we have the bye-bye power. Isn't that just wonderful? And that's the end of the game. So, there's no going back to the start screen, I don't think, because um, back in the day with these games, when you got to the VN screen, that was the cue to turn the game off. So looks like we're gonna have to turn the game off. Turn it off. So, uh, looks like that's the last play of Kirby's Adventure, and it took, what, three years to finish it? But it's done. And uh, perhaps I'll pick up another game sometime in the near future. Uh, don't know what yet, but we'll see. So until that time, stay cool. Peace out.